Thanks for joining me yet again as we delve into episode four of my quick tip series, five ways to win multiple offers in a red hot Silicon Valley market. Once again, I'm Shannon Ellison with the Walker team of Ontario, and so far we have covered all of the things that go behind an accepted offer, which leads us to the all important wow piece. Tip number four, the package. It's all about presentation. All of the past three tips have led to this moment where your attention to detail is everything. In multiple offer environment, the home sellers and their agent are surprisingly looking for one thing, how to eliminate offers. This is your chance to separate yourself from the pack. A complete offer package should include the following four items. Number one, a fully complete contract. Every line, every item, all of the correct and most recent forms. Having a flawless contract allows the seller's agent to have confidence in your ability to be on top of it and knowledgeable throughout the transaction after you're accepted. Number two, the love letter. Most buyers and their agents neglect this special touch. This letter should be written by the buyer personally, including a touching photo of the buyer and their family or their pets. For the special things to include and say in the letter, speak to your realtor. I could do an entire video on the special touches to this piece. Number three, a pre-approval letter and your proof of funds for your down payment. Show the seller your buying power. This is always a factor in the decision of a chosen offer. An extra tip is to take it even a step further and have the lender call the seller's agent personally. Number four and the last piece to a truly complete offer is the presentation. Fully sign the complete set of disclosures and inspections that the seller has provided. Show the seller that you've previewed everything about their home. How important is this? The number one cause of problems in a transaction is new discoveries. Let it be known that you are not going to be the problem child. The bottom line, don't take shortcuts. Take time to prepare everything properly. It's a big investment of time and money and treat it that way. If you've missed the beginning videos in this series, be sure to follow me on YouTube. Tomorrow we will cover tip five, the proper follow-up. I'll see you guys then.